Hello, I'm Catherine. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is a return visit. I am so glad to see you here today. Today, I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment. I love experimenting, especially with foundations. If you've been here before, you know that. I have some very favorite YouTube friends that I like to follow and get a lot of tips from. And one of my very favorites is Lisa from Lisa J Makeup. Lisa is a former makeup artist and she was a trainer at Mac. She has great tips and her makeup aesthetic is very similar to what I like to use as well. So it's great when you can find people like that on YouTube that you can relate to their makeup style and how they apply their makeup. So recently she created a video about her favorite foundation combination for right now. The combination included the NARS Tinted Moisturizer and the Dior Face and Body Foundation. She said that combining these two made a very natural foundation, it was very skin-like, and that it was also very long-lasting and long-wearing. So I thought, hmm, interesting. I would like to try that out. But first, I just had received these products. I hadn't tried them yet, and so I wanted to do a wear test with just the NARS Tinted Moisturizer one day, just the Dior Face and Body another day, and then do the combination. So we could really test out and see what is this like on its own? What is this like on its own? And what is the added benefit of putting the two together? So that is what I'm doing. And the first day we are going to be testing out the NARS. Second day we will be testing out the Dior Face and Body. And the third day we will be testing out the combination. So I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned if you are interested to see what my thoughts are. Okay, so today I'm going to be applying the Dior Backstage Face and Body. And just to tell you a little bit about this particular foundation, it is for normal, dry, combination, and oily, so all skin types. It is a medium coverage with a natural finish. Um, I am in the shade 2WP, which is warm peach. It is supposed to be for your face and your body in a wide range of shades and it is buildable, and most importantly, it is waterproof and sweat resistant. So they say you can use this um, even during a workout and it would stay on. So I'm gonna shake this up. I'm a little nervous about the shade that it might be too peach for me, a little too warm, but we're going to try it out. It does seem kind of warm. We're gonna see if this works for my skin. I really like the feel of this very lightweight but giving coverage at the same time so you don't feel like you're putting anything on but you're covering any imperfections i love this type of a foundation where it's so lightweight but is actually doing something okay i actually think the color is working it was difficult finding a shade in this foundation Every little algorithm that I put it into came out with a different, um, a different shade. But this one, when I saw it, I thought, well, this one might be good. It's not too warm and it has gone into the skin pretty nicely. So that was just one squirt. I'll bring you in so you can see. Feels really nice. No tack on the skin at all. You can see up here, done well on the nose. I should see, I'm gonna put a little bit more on just to see how buildable it is. And we'll just, I'm just gonna push this right into the brush and just bounce that kind of over any sunspots and then on the nose. Oh yeah, definitely buildable, but not heavy. Really nice. Hmm. So this is the first one and I will be wearing this all day. I will come back with my makeup on just so you can see how everything looks with the makeup on. So I have my makeup on and I'll be honest, I'm very impressed with the finish of this Dior. It feels great on and this is my first time trying it. I really like it. It's going to be interesting to see how the NARS Tinted Moisturizer compares to the Dior Face and Body. And of course, ultimately, how they combine together, which is what Lisa J was saying was her absolute favorite combination. So 
I'm pretty pleased with this. We'll see how it wears all day. I will come back later for um, a little check-in and we'll see how the makeup looks at the end of the day. Back for an update on how the Dior Backstage Face and Body wore. And I seriously may have a new favorite foundation. This has worn so well. I'm gonna bring you in so you can see. But I just think it looks great and it has felt like nothing on my skin all day. And normal wear and tear for a foundation, but for the most part, this has worn so well. I was so impressed every time I would look in the mirror to see how it was wearing. I was like, wow, this has worn so well. So this is an interesting experiment and I'm kind of glad I'm splitting this up like this because I wouldn't know what this was gonna be like by itself if I didn't try this out first. So um, today, of course, all about this Dior face and body, and tomorrow I'm gonna exclusively wear the, the NARS, the new formula of the tinted moisturizer. And then on the third day, we will do the combo that Lisa J loved, said was her favorite, favorite combo. But I'm gonna tell you, this is really, really nice. I'm impressed with it and very, very happy with how this wore. And I'm looking forward to wearing this foundation more on its own or maybe in the combo. I'm not sure if we're gonna see. So good night and I will see you tomorrow. Today I'm going to be doing a wear test and review of the NARS. This is the, it has all, they all have such long names now. It's the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer SPF 30. You can buy this for $45. There are 16 shades. It has recently been reformulated and they did add some shades. I am in the shade Gotland 1.2. And basically it has a lot of skin loving ingredients in it. It has vitamin C, which brightens. It also has French Polynesian Copari, which helps to hydrate, condition, and refine the look of skin. It is a sheer buildable coverage with a radiant natural finish. It is oil-free, paraben-free, and it has the broad spectrum SPF 30, which the Dior face and body does not have any SPF in it. So they do say how to use is to dispense small amount of product, warm with fingertips, and then press and blend onto the skin and build your desired coverage. So that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use my fingers since that's what they recommended and they didn't say use a brush or anything with it. I'm gonna shake it up just in case. And I will let you see the shade here. So that is my shade, Gotland. I am gonna just warm this up like they said with the fingers and I'm going to apply it like that. It definitely feels like a moisturizer. Very nice, has no added fragrance, but it has a nice scent with it. It is sheer, but I can feel it on the skin. It definitely doesn't feel oily per se, but I can feel it on my skin right now. I would think it would probably settle down. So I don't really wanna add any more. I do think this is what the benefit of this is just to kind of even out your complexion. But you can see, you can still see my sunspots. It hasn't settled in. It doesn't look like it's settled into any wrinkles, but it is a very sheer coverage. And it is nice that it has this SPF already built into for extra coverage. So I think if anything, I don't, I'm not gonna add any. Just that one little squirt I think is enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my makeup and then I'll come back and show you what this looks like underneath the makeup and then we'll do a wear test. Okay, so I have my makeup on right now and um, I'll bring you in just so you can see, but I am really feel, feeling very glowy. It has settled down. I don't feel it as much on the skin. It just feels like I have a moisturizer on. It's very comfortable, but this is definitely a glowy look. You can see the glow on my nose. I did use a little bit of a finishing powder and the glow is still popping through pretty well. So um, 
This one I have a feeling is just gonna be a very, very glowy finish um, all day long. So if you like that, great. If you don't, aren't a fan of that, maybe if you have oily skin, this might not be the best thing for you, but I, I'm not minding it. It's very glowy though. So um, it's interesting. The other, this one had a better finish on it just by itself. I am wondering if the two of these combined what those are what that finish is going to be like but that won't be till tomorrow so i will check in later tonight and we'll see how well this wore i mean my prediction is it's not going to wear that great because it's a tinted moisturizer and it's not usually kind of built for speed on that but um we'll see we'll see how this looks um, like i said i'm incredibly glowy bordering on shiny i feel like so we'll see how this goes i will see you later tonight okay I'm back and it is nighttime and I have been wearing this NARS tinted moisturizer all day and let's check it out. The makeup has worn well on it. You can still see like my highlight, my blush and everything, but it is definitely, it was already pretty sheer to begin with. The glow definitely came down, but you can really see it's kind of pulled off all on my cheek. It's been off, I feel like it's been off on my nose for a while. And on this side, same kind of thing. It didn't settle into any wrinkles. I think in general, it looks pretty nice, but it definitely was not a very long wearing, which is kind of the point of a tinted moisturizer to begin with. Um, I'm very curious because I was so impressed with this by itself. And then she added this, and I'm not quite sure why. So, I don't know. We're gonna try this combination exactly the way Lisa applied it, and we'll see what the difference is. If this is the main factor, if I had to guess, I think this is the main factor. This was good, it was not great, but it applied easily, and using, I used a little bit of powder when I applied it, but I never have re reapplied anything all day and it has stayed pretty nice. The makeup in general has stayed pretty nice. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see the combo. Tomorrow. Today we are going to be trying out Lisa's combo that she says is the best foundation combo and she's loving it right now. So we tried out the NARS by itself, the tinted moisturizer. We tried out the Dior face and body by itself. Today we are going to combine them to make her famous combo. And we're gonna see, did these two really make that big of a difference together? I rewatched her video and took notes so that I would know exactly what technique she used when she was putting these two together. So the first thing she did was to apply the NARS. So she doesn't mix these two together. Um, she applies one and then the other. So the first one she applies is the NARS and she applies the NARS with her fingers. So I'm gonna put some on my hand here and just dot this around a little and then just rub this in like a moisturizer, which is what she said to do. It feels like a moisturizer or like a tinted sunscreen type product. Very glowy, you can see all the glow on my skin, but not a lot of coverage. So she said to let this sit on the skin for about a minute before putting on the Dior face and body. So we're gonna do that. While I'm letting this settle in on my skin, I'm going to talk you through some of the other tools we're gonna to be using. To apply the Dior Face and Body, she used the BK Beauty 101 brush. So we are going to be doing that because I have that brush. And then we're going to be applying a translucent powder. She used the Danessa Myrix powder, which I do not have. So I thought that the Fenty Beauty powder seemed to be a very comparable to what the Danessa Myrix was like from what I could see in her video. I've never used that powder before. And I'm using that in the shade Butter. And she said to use that with a big fluffy brush she used her BK Beauty Big Fluffy Powder Brush. I don't actually have that one. So I'm using this IT Cosmetics. I believe it is the number eight and it is the Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush. Okay, so I think it's been about a minute. 
The key to applying this Dior, she said, was to do it in light layers, to start at the center of the face and go out. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put just a small amount of the Dior on my hand here. And we're gonna start in the center. I'm just gonna kind of dot some around the center of my face. She also said when you're using this brush to press it in instead of swiping it, to press it down, and especially in the places where you need the most coverage. And just bring it out from the center of the face. Let me use a little bit more here. You can see how much more coverage that's giving me. I'm gonna put another little small amount because I started with such a small amount. Put some on my forehead and a little bit over here, I believe. Again, still using that pressing motion. Okay, so wow, my skin looks really good. I'll bring you in. You can see I still have the glow from the tinted moisturizer but I have some coverage now. It's evened out a few more of my imperfections, but has left my skin looking very natural and fresh. So now we're going to do the powder trick that she talked about for setting this and keeping it looking nice all day. So the key to this is she said to take some of the powder into the brush, the big fluffy brush like this, and really work it into the, almost to the base of the brush and tap off excess. And then just lightly press the powder where you want that excess oil taken off, which for me is T-zone. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, wow, that was really nice. You can still see the freshness on the skin but you can see that I have gotten a little bit of that overglow taken care of, but you can still see some of the glow shining through. Pretty nice, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on, come back, we'll talk, and then we'll do a wear test and I'll come in at the end of the day. Okay, so I have my makeup on now, and the one thing that I will say that she didn't mention in her video was setting spray. I did use a setting spray. I used the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. She did not mention if she used a setting spray or not, and I didn't find it in her comments below either. So um, I'm not sure if she did that as far as helping with longevity, but I will be coming back later. I really do think, and I'll bring you in, I think that my skin looks nice. It looks glowy and healthy, but balanced and, um, you know, we'll see, we're gonna track this all day, see how well it wears, but this is our day to test this combination that Lisa came up with and see what we think. So I'm back for my final check-in after having worn the combination, Lisa's favorite combination all day long, and it looks really pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about my feelings on it in just a second. And of course, everybody is individual in their preferences, but I think you can tell my makeup does look pretty good and I still kind of have that natural glow, um, not just from highlight, but from some, even on the skin around here, a little on my nose. It wore very, very well, I think, which is nice. Now, my thoughts, and I wanted to show you, I did feel like all day I had a little bit too much makeup on. It felt a little heavy doing this on top of this. Now, that being said, I wear a, a sunscreen too. I wear a moisturizer and a sunscreen on top of that before I even put this on. So I don't know if that was part of it, but it felt a little heavy on my skin. I felt like I had foundation on, and then I did feel like it settled into um, some of my wrinkles and some of my lines around here. Not horrible, but I did feel like I had a better result just using the Dior. 
Now, it's always interesting when I do these videos because when I go back to edit them and I can really see, but I, I'm, I mean, I'm going on my memory and then when I go back to edit, I can really see it almost even better. But my memory from this day was wow, wow, wow. And I'm not feeling that today. Again, it just feels a little heavy. Maybe I use a little bit too much of this. I don't feel like I use very much of this and I feel like this is the heavy, heavy factor. I'm not positive. What do you guys think? Um, again, this is a nice combo. Do I feel like I'll ever do this? I don't think so. I don't think it really worked for my skin. I don't think I needed it. As I'm aging, what I'm finding is that using a medium to full coverage foundation actually really works for me using it sparingly, kind of exactly like what she said, where we just kind of patted it on and we did it in layers. That does really work for me. I don't know that I needed this factor also. That's just me. I don't know what you guys think. I don't think this has given me anything that much more by combining the two of these, but I'd love to know your thoughts below. And I really appreciate Lisa and all of the great techniques that she shows us. She has taught me so much about makeup and is really one of my very, very favorite people here on YouTube. I'm very, very grateful to her and all of her ideas are just amazing. So I was really excited to try these out and I will say probably my takeaway is wow, wow, wow. I'm so glad I picked this up. I've heard people talking about it for a long time. I'm really glad that I picked this foundation up and I'm looking forward to wearing it all summer. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me, testing out these foundations and these combinations. I would love for you to subscribe and join the family here and hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted anytime I post a new video. And of course, if you're looking for day-to-day -day content, come join me over on Instagram at KZ Beauty Coach. I would love to have you over there. Hope you guys are having a great week and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.